determined to take away confidence in this government as soon as we it becomes clear that they've abandoned seniors and farmers and supply management. Questions and comments, the Honourable Member for Kitchener Centre. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I agree with the Bloc Québécois that we need to do more for seniors in Quebec and also in my community, and that this government could do that by reducing the major uh, subsidies to the oil and gas sector. So my question is on the best way to do that. The Bloc Québécois says that we should increase uh, OAS, which provides... uh, 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 services to seniors who have an income that goes just up to to about $148,000 a year. While the uh, monthly guaranteed income supplement helps low-income seniors and is indexed to their income, and unfortunately that system still leaves many people living in poverty when the cost of of living is going up so my question why not focus instead on increasing funding for the guaranteed income supplement and increase the income uh, uh limit to make sure that funds are sent to the seniors who need it most the honorable member for salaberry surwa Well, Mr. Speaker, I'd like to thank my colleague, who's uh, always uh, very serious uh, in his approach to asking questions. There are many other ways that we could also be supporting seniors. I think that in uh, our most recent election platform, the Bloc Québécois called for uh, incentives, uh, tax incentives, uh, among other things. You know, I think that... uh, If you want to claim to be at the head of a progressive or social democratic government, you have to make choices, choices. And what uh, we've seen from the current government is that they've deliberately chosen to put billions of dollars into uh, uh, a pipeline, uh, the Trans Mountain. Uh, These are difficult choices, Mr. Speaker, that the government has made, but they're choices. So... You know, we're responsible for our own choices. And right now, you know, we're not questioning a universal uh, old age pension regime. And what I'm hearing is that uh, uh, my colleague would maybe agree that it not be universal anymore. What we're saying is that Canada can afford to make sure that seniors age 65, 74 have the same uh, amount as all other seniors for their OAS. We know we have the means to do it, but we have to make the right social democratic choices for that to happen. And I get the impression that uh, maybe they're not going to support us in the motion that we're talking about today. And that makes me really sad because that means that they're saying very clearly that they're abandoning the most vulnerable seniors. Resuming debate, the Honourable Member for Terbonne. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.